Hello, hello. It is Meredith I'm doing my 2023 plans and checkup. Um, as you see here, these are my two planners I'm going to be using for next year. The Hope in Ichi Weeks is my everyday carry, and the Common Planner is more of my stay at home um, baby tracking and development. So I'm going to run through both of these and how I'm using them and go from there. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Hope and Two Weeks. Um, I have the Mega. For the yearly overview, I'm going to be doing a cleaning log of things that I don't do all the time. Um, more like quarterly cleaning, I think. So change my air filter, shampoo the rug, um, deep clean the bathrooms. You know, I do regular cleaning, but deep cleaning things. Um, and then I also am going to track my ovulation cycle as well. Um, because I would like to know when that's happening. Then I have all the months. I have a little floating tab here, which I don't really use, but it's there. <laughs> so then I have, um, all of these are from Boulder Bond, the kits, or from Lisa Loren Plan. So I have all of them all the way through the whole year. I just thought they were so cute. I really just oh april so pretty i really just had to um go through and put all these in i decided that i'm going minimal stickers though on the actual week because i don't like how it bumps up the planner these do bump up the planner i love october it's so cute the little um it, these do bump up the planner but they're at the very beginning and um so a few pages and they don't really like bother it too much and I go all the way to the end so the next is the first week and that is the week we're in right now um so if you're unfamiliar I hope when each two weeks looks like this um it has your week on one page horizontally and then a gridded side page before, um, I've had one of these before and I had no idea how people planned in them because they're so tiny and I don't like horizontal planning. I'm a vertical planning person. Um, but then I saw someone with a similar setup that the, a few people do this, but they divided their week over here vertically. Um, so now I do plan vertically in these four boxes and then extras over here. So how, how I have this set up is I have all of my uh, timed plans, my to-do list of the day, my cleaning list for the day, and my gratitude. Then I count my steps, my sleep, because I have a baby right now, um, orders that are coming in, dinner plans, and a running to-do list for the week. So this is, I filled out more so week, and as you see, I have everything over here that I have specific timed, my to-do list. I have a couple stickers here and there, but not like very many. Um, I put balloon stickers when there's a birthday. I have these little um, just do not give up stickers that I randomly put, not every week, in my trash sticker. And then sometimes I put a little emoji girl, but that's pretty much about it. Um, and then... This is kind of how I track my sleep. The dot is, dots are when my baby wakes up. And if there's a big space, that means I was awake for that period of time. If the baby just woke up and it was like a five minute put back down, I don't put a space because I'm up and down within a couple of minutes. Um, and then for my pen, I use the Tombow mono drawing pen because this does not smear. Once it's dried down after like 10 seconds, it doesn't smear at all. Love that. And then I use um, the mild liners to highlight when day goes by and all of the things that I do. And I do um, use a color of the month. So for November, I had this brown color because my kit, which is in my old Hobonichi, it was more, you know, fall based. And then for the Christmas month, I'm using this green pen for January, which is blue. I'll use blue, so on and so forth. So I really like this so far. 
So I'm going to set all my weeks up like this for the in next coming time. And then in the back I have the Mega. Um, so I decided to use this for my collections. But I have some stuff for my um, baby, like uh his height and weight and how he's sleeping and then my height and or my weight i know what my height is that's not changing anymore um it could be shrinking but uh then i have like to go go to meals um i want to do baby led weaning so all of his foods he's tried and then i'm doing the 52 lists um so i have some pages set out for the 52 lists and then also tracking his naps which i need to put one in and and I'm gonna do that right here on camera um because today is December 2nd and he put um himself to sleep about five minutes ago so we're gonna say that was 10 45 I did feed him which made him very drowsy but we're doing um sleep training right now and uh working on putting himself to sleep so I should have fed him a little earlier, but he's in this mood right now where I'm breastfeeding him and if he's not hungry, he will bite down. So um, it's kind of making me a little nervous and I'm going to have to probably figure that out. But anyways, I'm tracking his napping here as sleep training goes on. Um, and then I just have blank pages pretty much in the back. Um, and then there is this one page back here somewhere. I always use the My 100 for pen testing. Um the 365 checkoff I'm using for uh, the weather so I have a different color mild liner for every 10 degrees of weather so when it's like 90 to 100 degrees it's going to be red and then all the way down to purple for like 0 to 10 degrees and I just kind of want to see what it looks like for the whole year let me show you that a little closer um, and then in the back are just the stickers that I do use which aren't that many you saw most of them a lot of them are from Coffee Monsters Co um the trash stickers the birthday stickers not today um and then mandy lynn plans um i got a few of those which again i don't really plan to use that many in here and that's from kate planner kate coffee monsters co and page and ink which these are beautiful don't know how I'm going to use them, but I just kind of stick these in the back because these are the only stickers that I do use sometimes in my Hobie Nature Weeks. And this is my everyday carry, like I mentioned. And then the Common Planner by Sterling Ink. This is a B6 size, which the Hobie she Weeks is just slightly taller than the B6 size, but of course the B6 is much wider. Um, so this is the full year, and I used to be in the cousin, and I love, I did, I switched from the cousin to the weeks because I didn't need the space, and I didn't need a day per page. So this is perfect for me, and, um, if I go back to work, I'll probably switch to using this as my everyday carry, but for now, this is where we're at. So, in the very beginning, you have a blank page. And then you have your goal but breakdown, and not everyone see, says this, but it's hard to see. Um, it says someday, one year, half year, quarter, monthly, weekly, and daily. And then you have your quarter one here, which it says priorities, January, February, March, and then January, February, March. So what I'm doing is this is going to be my baby development and sleep more so planner and my me planner. So this won't have to-dos in it. This is tracking information. So my priorities I have filled in for Jonah, which is my son. Baby led weaning, um, moved to nursery because he's still in our room right now, and start reading every day to him. And then for me, I would like to get back to reading a book for myself, um, self-improvement, um, which I need to figure out what that means still, um, eat a little bit healthier and walk consistently. So then in the um, tracker over here, it has the day, um, every single day of the year. So fe fe January and then 1 through 31. And I'm tracking um, my walk when I walk, um, hydrating, which for me hydrating is over 80 ounces of water, making the bed, vacuuming. And then I'm going to put a little chart here for my tiredness level. 
because figuring out how much I'm sleeping when it's broken is kind of hard. So I'm just gonna put it based off of how tired I feel that day and to kind of see if there's a pattern. <clears throat> All right, so then do the rest of the year of those and you go into the monthly. So here you get the month on two pages. Uh, so I have the my this is December. Uh, the planner starts in January, but you do get the December uh, monthly. And so my child will be six months old in December. And then this is where I'm tracking his development. So at the end of November, he can stand assisted. He can roll out of the bouncer, tripod sit, things like that. And then um, I put that we started sleep training. And then I'm gonna put. Um, you know his development here and what's going on and then on the sidebar I'm using this for the number of wakes uh, per night and so last night he had three so I'm going to come over here on the first day of December and put three wakings um, so that was a pretty good night then um, the week hasn't started yet but the, they have a timed uh, vertical weekly and it goes from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. So what I want to do this for is how my day actually goes and I'm very excited about this like how long it takes me to put him down, how long he slept, um, how much I'm cleaning when we're walking and exercising, like what does our day actually look like and then we can make adjustments based off of um, the habits that I see. Like if he goes to, if he gets tired every single day at 10 30, um, Maybe we put him down at 10.30, but when we need to take away a nap, we play with taking away that nap or moving up the next nap, seeing what our day looks like. I'm very excited to use this. And then last but not least, you have uh, 369 daily pages, if they're not daily because they're not dated. It's literally just a, like, a strategy notebook back here. So I'm using this for whatever I feel like. I think I'm going to do some journaling back here um, because I... Like the first time I used this was for sleep training and then um, the first day, which I didn't do it correctly, um, but then I just kind of put a little excerpt on how sleep training makes me feel and um, how hopefully we can get over this hump and um, then we can all be sleeping a little bit better. What's crazy is from after he was like a month old, he slept um from a month old to four months old. He slept through the night, um, anywhere from eight to 12 hours every single night. And then he hit his four month regression and he hasn't been able to sleep without me rocking him since then. Um, and it just kept getting worse and worse. And then we got COVID and then it got really bad, which I understand sick baby wants to be with his mom. So we started co-sleeping, but I don't sleep good when we're co-sleeping because he wants to be nuzzled up against me and I want him to be safe. So I'm kind of like on, on alert um, and also can't move because he wants to be cuddled up against me. So I'm like, I don't want to do this co-sleeping. Like it does have some pros like and cons or some pros too, uh, but his crib is right next to me and I'd rather him just be right next to me in a crib than in bed with me. So right now we're sleep training. Um, he doesn't mind the crib. Uh, it's really just now putting himself to sleep and then he wakes, wakes up a lot and can he put himself back to sleep when he wakes up. So I'm just going to be using this as whatever I see fit and probably most likely journaling. So that is how I'm using these two in tandem. Um, I have a Naya paper recover coming which I'm very excited but that'll probably take a little bit of time. And then I also have Lauren Phelps Designs uh, clear covers for both of these coming because I feel like this needs something on top of it. Like, I feel like I could use this all year and it'd be fine, but I don't feel the same way about this. I feel like this is going to show wear and tear and rip. And then I also have a um, uh, rickshaw um, A5 um, bag coming to put everything in, as well as a pin case from him. Go check out Planner Mumsy um, on the, his pin cases. They look amazing. And while I don't have them here in this video, um, I do have a Twisby Eco fountain pen that I've been playing with that I'm still trying to get my footing with. I journaled that you saw back here was with the Twisby um, Eco. And I'm just trying to figure out 
how I like it when I want to use it. I think that it's more going to be a cursive journaling um, pen for me and not what I thought it was going to be, which is just using it in here. But um, I don't, I tried to draw the lines out with it and it just did not work out for me. And then I write in print a lot of the time. It's kind of like a print slash cursive mix, which makes it just look messy. But um, it worked, the, the Twisby Eco is working well for me for cursive, but not really that well for just like writing down quick to do's and all that. So I'm going to stick with the Tombow for that and then the Twisby in my journaling and then the mild liners for highlighting with. All right, everybody, that is it. Check out my Instagram um, where I post my weekly layouts of the Hobonichi and I'll probably do the same thing for the um common planner for next year but i hope everyone has a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching bye